I'm going to log in to the network and show you uh, an example of a good PowerPoint with good web pages that link together. And since I'm remoting in, it'll be a little, little bit of a lag going on, but uh, I think it'll be good enough that you'll get the main ideas of what I'm trying to get across as far as content. So let me click into Windows Explorer to get to this particular file. And let's see, here we go. I don't save all of the presentations, but uh, the few uh, really good ones I do. And um, I have to save the entire file because we have the PowerPoint in here that they did on Netflix. But all these other files are their web pages and the images for their web pages. So that all has to be inside one big folder of stuff. So that just makes it work better. And it's not the PowerPoint that's picky, it's the web pages. They all have to live in the same folder with the images and the web pages together. All right, let me launch the Netflix PowerPoint. And they kind of used a background that they dimmed out um, so as not to compete with the foreground. And I won't go through all the details, but that was their um, outline slide. And they had their slide uh, talking about the founder, a couple slides on him, and uh, how they use technology to achieve a competitive advantage. And then um, they gave me an extra slide, which was looks like a, their table, and obviously a revenue column and a net income column for the different years. And then they actually, of course, graphed that. That was their um, revenue slide. Notice they projected out two more years beyond. The last data point they had was 2009, because this PowerPoint goes back, this project goes back a few years, and they forecasted out to 2011 um, on their net income. Um, actually was in millions where their revenue was in billions they were good about notating that again last data point ended in 2009 and they forecasted forward to 2011 and then they talk about their different products they had a lot of good stacking events going on in that slide and there are some more product slides and Netflix is more of service than product, but uh, we kind of use those words interchangeably on this. Um, they've got their video slide in there. And then on their last slide, I'm going to launch their last slide to show you how they get that hyperlink in there. And when I drive over this, you'll see the hand come up and how to get your movies. That was their hyperlink they put on that text. And then all you got to do is click, and it takes you to their first web page they created. Now, their web pages. I like the organization of their web page. This is their home page, howtogetyourmovies.com. And they are comparing and contrasting uh, Netflix against two other companies that do similar things or offer a similar product or offer a similar service. So... Um, you can see they've got links to their um, real external websites and then they've got a row for Netflix and some a summary of their business blockbuster and their pricing structure a summary of their pricing structure and Redbox same thing here now for more details you click into like the Netflix link takes you to a totally Netflix page and uh, shows you a little bit few more details there they got a home button, which you can just search that out on Google Images. Plenty of home buttons on there. And they have a, the Blockbuster row. I'm back at the home page, so I click on the Blockbuster row. And that takes me to the specifics of the Blockbuster deal. And 
again you can, you can also go to the other two pages on um, Redbox or Netflix so you can always navigate back and forth to any page from any page and then the last row of course is all about Redbox so you click on that to go to the totally Redbox page okay and then obviously go back home all right so that uh, shows you how they organized they had one home page and then links to the three other pages here so I hope that helps you with your design and organization of your PowerPoint as well as your web pages. Thank you.